Hey, what's going on guys? Shul Chavez here for another video. Today we are playing some Minecraft back on the El Tor SMP. It's been about a week since I've made an ep since I recorded an episode. And as you can see, there's a big mob spawner over there. I did build this as well as I went mining, found some diamond veins. These diamond veins are going to be for when I get fortune though. Now, I, this is not going to be a normal episode because there's nothing really much for me to bring to you this week. Next week, however, may or may not end up being the dragon fight. So, what we're going to do is I'm just going to take, take this video as I'm trying to upload weekly. So, I'm just going to make something quick and easy. We're going to be going and touring everyone's bases. So as I haven't been, I haven't really even been on the server much this week. I've played for a few hours today and I built that and went mining. But I haven't even looked at the dine map yet. So basically we have a dine map set up in our, for the server, which is what's gonna basically guide me to the locations of the other people's bases. So, let's just go take a look at that. As you guys can see, this is where I am. This is our village. Then if we come over here, we have spawn, which the chunks need to render in. And as we keep moving this way from spawn, you'll see this. This here is Ice's base. Then as we zoom out, there's one other person on the server. Oh god. But... So we have this, and as you've seen, Florian is online. So, when we come over here, this is their farm, and this is their base. Now, this is where we are going. Right here. So, let's get there. Before we go to uh, Florian and Eltora's base, we're going to go ahead and stop by Ice's base, check that out as well. Of course, it's a risky path getting there through the nether, but I've already found all the coordinates and made the pathways. Actually, I didn't make the pathways, Florian made them a while ago apparently. But as you can see, this is going to be a very long and dangerous trip. Thankful for Avian building these rooms. Alright, if I remember correctly, the bridge was there. Now I do have to get past these two wither skeletons, which I will do with ease. I actually want to kill them, so... Let me go ahead and guide them over here. I 
I do know that axes are better, but I prefer to use swords. Now, this takes us over to a tunnel system. And then this tunnel system, if we come up here, if you can see on the left, there's another fortress. And here is the pathway down to Ice's portal. Or is this portal down here or is it up there? Um, Ooh, there's some quartz. I may have to grab that when I come back. There's tons of quartz, actually. Okay, so stopping by Ice's base here. This is his little house. As you can see, he was left a gift. He's got his... Uh, lava pool here. I mean, his base is fairly simple, just a wooden box. So we're just gonna pop back in. Actually, wait. What's that ladder for? I don't know what that ladder is for, but I am gonna pick up this quartz because it's experience and I need to level 30 my gear and a pickaxe. Alright, well, now we're going to move onward over to Florian and Altora's base. Okay, guys, basically this chat conversation is just like, uh, there's supposed to be other people. I mean, there are other people that are part of this SMP that just haven't played yet. Now, here we are. Take a right. This will take us right to uh, their portal. Their area looks a lot less nether fortress like than ours now in we go and this will put us down in a cave okay i didn't think this was gonna be cave how do i get is this the way up oh it is Uh, can really say is whoa
Why, hello. Say something, I just want to make sure that not, that this doesn't happen. The same thing that happened for my first two episodes that recorded that failed. Uh, yeah. Hey, we're good. It's working. Let me just up that. I don't, we have to, uh, about the torch still safe, I don't know, but, uh, can't be safe. Can't, can't be too safe. <laughs> Well, we had some uh, monsters in the beginning of the and I'm like, yeah, I want to avoid that. Like, first time when I, I came to this, like, the first time when I came to this island, when there was like only a village here, like, I was there and there was like a zombie siege going on, like 20 plus zombies and like five skeletons, two cleavers, witches, and an enderman, and I, I was so surrounded, like, it was impossible. <laughs> I like see. There was an island golem. He was gone in like two seconds. <laughs> oh, so this this is like the center point of the island. Yes. The moment we just use dirt bit of water. <laughs> Nothing too special. Whose house? Whose houses you got? Which one's which? Uh, well, this one is Altora's. Which looks very uh. Set. I don't even know what to call it. <laughs> Yeah, well, me neither, but it's like, uh, It's- it looks like what you would see- it looks like what you would see as a church in a cartoon. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, we chose for, like, a certain theme for our build, and Althora went with a library, so that's why he has, uh, a librarian over here as well. Thorns, uh, name tags... I need- if I need a name tag- when I get a horse, if I need a name tag, I'm coming here. <laughs> And mending. Like, it's, it's amazing. All I have to say is I have mending books. I have a mending villager at, at our village. He trades 14 emeralds. Oh. Oh, that's not too bad. I mean, it's I had, legit half I of had yours. I had to get one for uh, 13 emeralds today, but uh, uh, I was like, uh, we have one at like 14, so I'm like, not going to get it for it. Oh yeah, just a little by the way, the third row of bookshelves does, doesn't add anything to an enchant table. That's a decorative space, yeah. Okay, then that but makes like, more this sense. This is not my house, like, I don't uh, decorate it, like, this is El Toro's uh, style. So, like, the bottom two areas we were just in, those are, like, the normal public areas, and this is, like, El Toro's personal one. Yes, I see his bed. S beds. Yeah, I don't know all you see, all you see is I break all three and run. <laughs> well, like, we had an incident with the villagers a few days ago, and Altora has slept yet since then. So if he dies when we get to the third again, he might go back to farm. So I hope he will sleep for his sake. Do you guys have a villager breeder somewhere? Uh, yeah, we had it over here, like in a big ugly grey box, but. Uh, I s yeah, I need I need to get working on a villager breeder of my own. Like I'm not really like have a breeder breeder. I just have like a shitload of like beds. I just stack them up. Yeah. And then I just ship them off. So like this is the barn, which is very short. He's working on. So it's just uh, using barrels as extra decoration. Smart. Yeah, like, he, he does, like, uh, so I'm guessing this would be like the, yeah. I'm guessing this would be like where you guys make potions and stuff. Yeah, he is planning on making some blue instruments, but uh, he had some uh, terrible encounters in the Nether before. I do hear some cats. Oh look, there's a cat. Yeah, like, <laughs> they're like they are all from the uh, old uh, villager uh, spot we had. Like they spawned. So many cats. Oh yeah, I know. We're, Way too many. We have... I've had cat infestation problems at our village. Yeah, but like, I'm kinda happy with it, but to be most of the cases away, it's like, it could be worse. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's a lot easier when you have tamed cats. 
Yeah, they don't run around that much. I yeah, you could you could just like put them in one spot and then make them sit. So like turns where there's only like one edge of uh, the roof with uh, Langston because he was trying to pull Langston so it's difficult. He had lava pour over his hands and then he lost his diamonds armor. Which oh. is kind of depressing. But like we have a villager for that, so worst case. And then this is yours. Oh I see I see you made the flag. Well, that's the thing, like, me and Fairsport are on, like, bedrock edition, and for some reason can't use the loom station, so Altora has to make the banners for us. I mean, it makes sense, because I don't think... Does bedrock have looms? Uh, yes. Like, we have basically everything except, like, uh, from minor details, like, from the combat of the end. Uh. Like, uh, yeah, this is my house, and well... Very... it's I very aesthetic, like... I had, like, I had a secret over him, but it's open now. I wasn't prepared for this, so... Your house is very, very open. Like, no, not very... sorry, very full. The first floor. I like yeah, it. the second floor is a bit more, uh, open, because I don't have any idea what to do with it. Oh, you've got your ancient debris hanging on the wall. I was like, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna use it to craft it just yet. I was like, uh, I wanna say from like, we have this plan together that we all wear the same kind of armor and... Oh, I so fair, fair losing his... Well. How many emeralds do you have? Oh, at the moment, not oh, a lot at the oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Avian has more than you. But like, earlier we had like 30 plots, but I think that's about all of the legend. And uh, Kella like, uh, also like a nice attic which has storage in the walls. You just kind of toss whatever anywhere. <laughs> I can toss whatever I want anywhere, but... You're gonna get it all lost, won't you? <laughs> I definitely will. Okay. Have you put anything in, in here? Well, not yet. Like, we have a really, really messy village church. I'm intimidated. Really oh. You were just holding a diamond sword up to me. <laughs> that didn't mean to. Uh, yeah, so like, yeah, I have uh, E-chest over there. Like, I have sold off sword yet. But, like, I have nothing. Uh, like, uh, some... Uh, I abandoned. Like I put like a sh like a load of beehives in there. So like if ever you get uh, rid of some of those bees because they are not in there, then uh, just uh, it will ring you up or something. I mean, you're basically online twenty four seven at this point. Uh, yeah, like last week I had like three from Steam, so like I was actually like taking all the time I could, but like, this week I had slowed down just a little bit. Oh, is this your villager breeder? <laughs> well, we have all like a, a few, so Alton has a library, Firstwood has a bar, I have like a forge. So this is uh, like, smithing area. Okay. Let's see, what do you got? Diamond, Diamond sword, not bad. You've got a- you're able to buy an entire diamond set. Well, only- yeah. only the diamond helmet- only the diamond helmet actually has decent enchants, though. Yeah... I still have to uh, just make a set and then uh, put it in uh, a crime so Oh god, that hurt. <laughs> so at the moment, I'm just not bordering yet. I really should have like... disabled auto-jump. At the moment, like, also because we are bad with condition, we also can't use Grindstone, which is confusing again. I don't 